Day four. It's day four. We're almost done. It's our shortest travel day today, too. Yeah, that's exciting. And we're only going through one major city, Louisville. Say it again. Louisville. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and today we're staying at a military campground. Yes. Camp Atterbury. Yeah. Army National Guard Training Never been Center. There. Don't know what to expect. Just south of Indianapolis. But we will be in Indiana today. Yeah. And uh, I'm very excited <laughs> to be done with this. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Even though this was way better than our trip from Michigan. To Don't Florida. jinx it yet, man. We still got two days. <laughs> Don't jinx it yet. Okay, so I spoke too soon this morning. You, you did. I, I told you not I to say anything. Did, did I take it all back? There's something about this place. Something about that thousand trails. Two times we've been there, and two times we've had a flat on the truck. Yeah. Luckily, we were only like a mile from an exit. A truck center, a service center, tire repair shops. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna drop the trailer and uh, walk over there and see if they can fix us up. I'm at least get the tension off of the off the tire Hopefully right now. Hopefully it can just be patched and not have to take it off. If we have to get the spare, I can only hope that the rear end damage doesn't keep us from being able to get the spare off. Yeah, because when you got rear ended, it yeah. smashed that, that receiver right into the spare. So I don't even know if we can get if, the spare tire out from the truck or yeah, not. Yeah, so this will be fun. Yeah, there it is. You can see it's soft. I felt it start wobbling. I was like, what is going on? Is there wind? Yeah. What's moving me around? I clicked down to look at the tire pressure, and this tire was at 32 psi, which is supposed to be about 80. Yeah. Luckily, we were in the right spot though for this to happen. And hopefully, this won't set us back too far. We have plenty of time. This was a short travel day. <laughs> Damn it! Our shortest travel day is now not going to be our shortest no, travel day. No, it's going to be the longest travel day probably. Yeah. But my bad. Sorry. <laughs> I jinxed it. <laughs> Yeah, you can see there, our rear pressure start at 80, cold, and this one is now at 29. So, I'm not like a mechanic or anything, but that's not good. Well, we know what the issue is. The issue is the valve stem. Yes. I went to go put some air in it because the place at the Pilot, they only work on tractor trailers. Semis, yeah. They won't work on little trucks like ours, so. He said there's a little place down the road about four miles and so I went to go put some air in the tire to make sure that we at least get down here mm -hmm. and as soon as I went to go screw the compressor valve onto the tire valve stem it just started pushing air out so anytime you even push on that little that little valve stem air just comes out so we have a break in the in the valve stem we're lucky it didn't just shear off and just be like a catastrophic failure and be stuck on the side of the road. So it mm -hmm. could have been a lot, lot worse. Um, they're going to be able to fix us up here. They said it's about a five to ten minute fix. However, it's a two hour wait. Yeah. <laughs> For your ten minute fix. I even I even offered a little extra cash. Which surprised me. Because this is not, this is a, this is a little podunk. Place. yes and it, i was like hey what if i threw a little extra uh, cash at you could we, we get, get you in a little faster and she's like nah we don't do that and that's not oh, man bummer i tried wasn't for lack of trying so we're gonna sit here luckily it's not too awful hot or anything and so we'll sit here for a couple hours <laughs> and then we will get the valve stem fixed and then we'll get back on the road well old podunk place uh wasn't working out for me. You weren't feeling it, huh? No. And I, so I looked up to see if there was a Firestone close by because our tires are under warranty through Firestone. And I there just was, didn't think there was one close to where we were. There was one it's 10 miles. Remote. 10 miles. And I was like, will the tire make it 10 miles? Should we risk it? And so put a little bit more air in there and made it over to the Firestone. And they've already got us in the bay. Already yep. working on the tire. So Like seconds after we... Gave him the keys. Yeah, so the not only is it going to save us some time, it's going to save us some money too because these tires are under warranty. They'll fix it and get us back on the road. And um, as much as an inconvenience as it is for us, there is one of us who really don't give a shit at all. Nope, sure don't. And that would be this guy. Scouts? 
doesn't care at all. Nope. Not phased by this one bit. I'm still living my best life. <laughs> I actually think we woke him up by taking him out of the car. Hey, if you're going to live the RV life for any amount of time <laughs> at all, this kind of stuff's going to happen. No. Yep. And you just got to roll with it, man. On the road again. <laughs> Two hour delay. Yeah. Seven dollars and 42 cents lighter. <laughs> I don't know. Can we swing it? I don't know, man. <laughs> we might have to work camp for a season or two to catch back up financially. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Here we go. All right. Scouts still don't care. Still don't care. Still don't care at all. <laughs> I wish I could live that life. <laughs> I know, man. No worries whatsoever. Okay, you know, just a lot for the ride. <laughs> Let's play a little game I like to call What Broke? on I-65. No joke, what broke? <laughs> and I wanted to show you what we have to do to make sure that there's nothing impeding the slides. There's a little procedure that we go through. <laughs> it's stupid. That you might find interesting. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> microwave tried to open. Yeah, you can see the microwave. We had the thingy there, but it tried to open this door above the fridge because we put a strut in here. <laughs> It opened itself. Yes, it did. Some masking tape on the floor. <sighs> so, but so far, not bad. All right, let's see the procedure. Because we have to check way back there before we start opening the slides to make sure nothing, nothing shifted under. in the way. But you don't want to walk on the slides while they're in. Mm -hmm. So... link in the description below to Sumo Springs. Pop over there, we can save you 15% and all you gotta do is put in the promo code WAYWARDWAGS when you check out. Leslie's gonna climb it out. Well, the pillow came off the couch completely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, the whole cushion came off there. Look at that. That whole cushion came off. And it's Velcroed on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you can see when the microwave tried to open. The balance fell down. What else happened? Might be the worst thing. Yeah? Yeah. The very worst thing? Yeah. He fell off my message board. Oh no. <laughs> so, live with no excuses and travel with no regerts. 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 <laughs> travel with no regerts. You better get it. Well, let me show you our spot. Look, we got plenty of space on both sides between neighbors. Big long pull through this is awesome look at this huge space this living space over here on this side of our rv picnic table graveled in huge area afternoon shade we got a fire pit over there even though somebody junked it up and left their freaking trash here which is one of my major pet peeves take your trash with you folks holy crap um back here we got the uh office up there you got uh playground laundry and bathrooms and then you got this little pond over here that you can walk around a little pavilion over there for holding events or whatever but man all in all this is awesome and we got here it's like 80 degrees but it's sitting in a florida 80 degrees this is an indiana 80 degrees and uh man it's much nicer lower humidity so we've been we've been pretty diverse in our campground spots since we've been traveling these four to five days um, the first night we stayed at a private campground the second night we stayed at a county park and the third night we stayed at a thousand trails and tonight we're staying at a military campground so hey leave us a comment and let us know which one you have liked the best of all the places that we have stayed in and uh 
once I get Leslie on here, we'll, uh, we'll give our opinion. All in all, not terrible. No. But this is really the first time that we have put the Sumo Springs to that kind of a test. Yes. Because we got the Sumo Springs when we were in Florida, and we've been traveling around Florida, and then we went you know, to the Panhandle and back, a little bit of bumpy roads and stuff, yeah. but nothing like we encountered today. No. And I was fully expecting to come back here and the trailer to just be destroyed. You were, you were like, every massive bump, you were like, something just broke. Something just drastically broke in there. But it did, it did move some stuff around, but had we not had the Sumo Springs... It would have been worse. Things would have been totally annihilated back here. It, it's almost to the week that we were he traveling 65 a year ago yeah to get to florida and we didn't have the sumo springs had, at the time and we had trim off the door fall um trim get loose up there we had a picture fall out and totally break yeah stuff got under the slides and we had to like dig them out with like a wire hanger and yeah. just toss the fridge and the bathroom cabinets were open toilet paper rolls yeah. were all it was a mess it was a hot mess so fittingly and you've already seen that sumo springs is a sponsor of this video and now you know we don't just willy-nilly put up any ad on our channel yeah. these are products that we really back that really really work and uh, we are now a full living testament so if you go through louisville on i-65 with sumo <laughs> springs your stuff's gonna be okay you're gonna be stuff's all right gonna move and stuff's gonna come loose I but still wouldn't recommend it. No. Still wouldn't no. recommend it. No. I would buy Sumo Springs just if I knew I was going to go through <laughs> I-65. I'd have them just for that purpose. But this is a nice spot. Great This is spot. a nice spot. Yeah. I like it. We'll have to take a walk. Out of the out of the four that we've stopped at, I was just talking outside. Yeah. Out of the four we've stopped at, we stopped at this, the, the privately owned campground, mm -hmm. the county park, mm -hmm. the Thousand Trails, mm -hmm. and now Military. Yes. Which is your favorite? Oh, man. There, I don't know, man. I mean, I did like the Thousand Trails landscaping. They have a nice park. Yeah. It's beautiful. Scout had a huge field to just go play in. Yeah. And uh, that was nice. Um, I like this one, too. It's yeah. not too big. It's a nice long pull through yeah. with a huge patio part. Yeah. So, too bad we're only here for a night. But it's got a pond, and it seems pretty quiet, so. As much as I like this one, and as much as I like the Thousand Trails, I loved the county park. The county park was beautiful. Because of the views. If it hadn't have been for the rain and no sewer, it would have hands down got it. But just for yeah. the views, I still give it to the county the park. The view was beautiful. It's just, that's true camping. It's very dirty, very sandy, very muddy when it rains there. So. But I loved it. it. It was beautiful. So far, it's just been a good trip up here. One more day. One more day. One more. <laughs> we can do it. Oh, last travel day. Yep. We're all hooked up. Ready to go. We're headed to Elkhart Campground for the pre-party. <laughs> the pre-rally yes. pre party. We missed it last year. We got to the to the rally last year during the rally dates. Yeah. And everybody's talking about the party, the pre-party <laughs> at the Elkhart Campground. I'm like. I want, to, I want to go to a party. Well, they've even already started earlier, I think, this year. Yeah, they're already there and partying. They've been there for almost a week now. But we'll get four or five days out of it before we actually get to the rally. So yeah. got a little bit of time. And we got to get our, our RV in to the yep. bay to get yeah, that uh, be a fun day. slide floor replaced from that slide ski issue that we had. Yeah. Um, that's, that's not going to be fun. <laughs> we'll take you with us on that, too. But <laughs> mission of the day, get to Elkhart. Low expectation. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, <laughs> don't jinx us, man. Low expectation. I'm expecting shitty roads, <laughs> traffic. About three and a half hours today, and we have to go through Indianapolis. So, yeah, yeah. Our, the bar is way down way here. Low. Let's get it over with. Okay, let's get this done. Made it. Made it. That leg wasn't terrible. No. One bad it, it was still bumpy. Stuff got rearranged. But... That's the end of the video. We're tired. <laughs> Stick around for a few seconds. Stop. We're going to honor a fallen hero. You want to get involved with helping us help vets on the road? Everything you need to know? Right down in the description. Uh, <laughs> stick around. Future video, we'll, uh, we'll show you around Elkhart campground that we're staying at before the rally. All of our pre-gaming. Mm -hmm. All of our rally activities. Yes. And then future adventures. Okay. See you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.